Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to another episode of Carvaco Hacks. Carvaco Hacks is a short video series that teaches you tips and tricks on the Carvco software. In today's hack, I'm going to show you how to create your own tool database. The first thing I'm going to do is click on my tool database over here. Once we got the tool database open, we're just going to download some of the manufacturer's tool databases. In one of the recent updates, we got this new button that says Get More Tools. It takes us to this web page, and they have all of the different tool libraries here for download. To download these libraries, you just need to click on the tool base data library and hit Save. Now, I'm going to do a couple of these. Okay, and once you have your databases downloaded, to add them into CarveCo, we're just going to hit the import but so now that we have our tool database downloaded we can click on any one of these manufacturers like cadence manufacturing open up the tool database and they have all of the tools from that manufacturer listed some of these tool databases may not have been updated recently so you may want to check with the manufacturer to see if they have an updated list the hack that I wanted to show you was how to create your own tool database so that you have your own tools we're just going to click on tools and groups and we're going to add a new group. This new group is going to be my tools and we're just going to drag that my tools up to the top and now we want to just add groups for the different kinds of bits. I'm going to break mine down in by tool types. So the first one I'm going to do is add a new group and this group is going to be end meals. Also going to add another new group and I'm going to continue on to add uh, more groups. Okay, and now I have all of my groups listed. I have end meals, V-bits, ball nose, tapered ball nose, and a specialty group. Well, all I want to do is go back. I'm going to start with my end meals. You could add a tool and just create all of these different tools. It's easier to use the manufacturer's tool databases because they already have a lot of the tools already set up. So to bring these tools into your database, and I'm just going to use Cadence Manufacturing as an example, I'm just going to copy each one of these. So I'm going to make a copy of the compression to quarter inch Denny compression. I'm just going to move that into my end meals. We'll do the same thing with the rest of these bits. All I have to do is drag the rest of the bits that I own into these databases or create new ones and I'll have an easy access to all the tools that I use. This is super helpful as you don't have to hunt through your tool database to find the bits that you're using every day. And you can see it's pretty easy to quickly make a tool database. Thanks guys, make bit happen and I'll see you on the next hack.